Carrie from Carrie's Clips. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is an amazing day. It's Friday the 13th and it is the day that Made in the AM was released. We have been waiting for this day forever. Some idiot leaked it so it's been out for like a couple days, like 13 days, not a couple, a lot. Um, but it's been released for 13 days. I have not looked at it. I told myself I'm going to wait I'm going to be a good fan. I'm going to wait and I'm going to buy it when it comes out. So I did. And I'm so happy that I did because I'm so, so proud of these boys. They made an amazing album. It's so good. It's so beautiful. So in this video, I'm going to break down each of the songs, what I like about the song. And that's what I'm going to do. I have been a fan of these boys for almost five years and it has been the best five years of my life and they're taking this break and we don't know when we're getting another album so this album means so much to me and it's also amazing because we've just seen them grow listening to their music from when they first started with up all night it's just so much of a difference than listening to made in the am so i'm gonna break down the songs for you guys tell you what i loved about it let's begin the first song on the track list is Hey Angel. Um, hey Angel is so good. Um, this is the song that Harry was like quoting on his Twitter like constantly. It was, everyone was expecting it to be a ballad. Well, guess what? It's not a ballad. It is like fire. The next song is Drag Me Down, which was the first song released from the album, which is also one of my favorites. Um, like my entire family loves this song like my dad loves it and he actually said that it was his favorite One Direction song ever. It was at like 1 in the morning when they released it. I was in Ohio and we were in my cousin's bedroom and we were sitting there and then I got this text message on my phone because I get my tweets sent as text messages on my phone. I'm really weird I know but I got it and I was like, oh my gosh, they just released a song. What the heck? You can't do that. You can't just do that to my heart. Because it is so different than what they've done before and it's really good and it's just a different sound and it definitely shows how the entire album is. So I thought that was really smart of them. And also let's just talk about Harry's high notes at the end. Like no one was expecting that. Like yes, Harry can sing, you went out my cat went out of my room sorry guys um every single video that i make my cats are literally on my bed the white ones right here but anyway let's get back to harry his high notes were so beautiful when i heard them i just didn't know what to do with my life i wanted to cry and curl up into a ball because it was so beautiful and like they were not missing Zayn at all. Like, when I listened to the song, I was like, who the heck is Zayn? They don't sound terrible without Zayn. They sound amazing, and I actually personally think they sound better. All right, the next song was Perfect. Um, Perfect was also released early, and I really liked Perfect. It was really good. It was perfect. I watched the music video like 50 million times. And I wanted them to beat the Vivo record because we don't know when their last music video is going to be. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is their last music video. We have to make it work. So we went on Vivo and I just literally watched it over and over and over again. In this song, it's really good. And it kind of is just like, makes me think like the lyrics, like I think that I'm perfect for them. And I think that everyone is like, we all like going places that we can't pronounce and we like driving with the windows down like that's me like i am perfect the next song is infinity and infinity was also released early and infinity is so good it is such a beautiful song um every time i listen to it i actually like it more and more like at first i really did like it um but it just keeps growing on me like i kind of have become obsessed with it and i listen to it all the time Niall's voice in it is so good. I love Niall's voice. I think he has an amazing voice and I remember back in the day when we were all trying to get Louie and Niall to have more solos and now this album was definitely their time to shine 
and it makes me so excited. Like they did amazing and they shone. I don't think that's the word, but they, they shined. That's it. They shined so brightly and I'm so happy. I am really huge on lyrics. Like I'm more of a lyric person than like the beat and the music. Like, yes, I love the music and I love listening to a beat, but I'm definitely like all about lyrics. I love listening to lyrics. So what I did last night was I went on my phone and it downloaded at like 1140. I got the notification and it was like, your pre-order is now available. So I hurried and went on iTunes and it was like taking forever to download. It, take, it took like 20 minutes to download. That was not okay. It needed to take like two. Um, after that, like I went on, after all of them downloaded, I clicked on the songs and I put them on shuffle and I listened to each of them. And I also looked up the lyrics to each of the song because I love, I just love looking at the lyrics and like, I don't know. I, it's just easier for me to read the lyrics and understand them than to listen because when I listen, like, I get distracted. But when I was reading the lyrics, like, I could actually, like, they sunk into me and I really loved it. So I wrote down a lyric in Infinity that I really love. Eyes can't shine unless there's something burning bright behind. Since you went away, there's nothing in mind. It's just like, now that this person in your life is gone, you have nothing. Like, you don't have that light in your eyes anymore. Okay, now, end of the day is the next one on the track list. I love end of the day. It is so good. It's like a different sound than like the average One Direction song. Like, it's a different sound. I would personally recommend this song to... People that are not really like fans of One Direction, like let them listen to this song and I think that they would become a fan or they would at least like this song. I love the lyric where Liam says, um, the priest thinks it's the devil, my mom thinks it's the flu, but girl, it's only you. Like I just really like that lyric, I don't know why. Now next is kind of the one that everyone's been talking about, it's If I Could Fly. And I definitely had high hopes for this song because the people that had already listened to the album when it was leaked were tweeting about it. And I was like, I really want to listen to it. But I didn't. I held back and I waited. Um, but when I listened to this song, I was not disappointed at all. The rasp in Harry's voice kills me. Like when he sings in this song, like his voice is just so raspy and just, I love it. Louis in this song is so British. He says can't, but he doesn't say it like can't. He says it can't. And it just is so exciting. I love when British people sing and they actually have a British accent. It just makes me so excited. It makes me melt. And when they're all singing together in this song, like their harmonies are so like angelic. Like they're just so good like it just sounds like angels blessing your ears i am definitely whenever i get married i'm gonna be playing this song at my wedding so whoever my future husband is out there just know that we're playing this at our wedding and it will probably be our first dance song um, i remember i had people like that weren't fans of one direction and i was like you guys need to listen to this song little things because it's so good and everyone loved it when they heard it. So I definitely think that this is another one of those songs, like little things that if you show it to someone and they're not a fan, like they will really truly like this song because it is so good and it's just so heartfelt. Next is Long Way Down. Um, it's definitely really something that's relatable to me. Um, I had a boyfriend and everybody sort of like built it up to be like great and I thought it was going to be just the greatest thing ever like I thought being in a relationship this, with this boy was going to be great and we dated and after like a week of dating him I was just like no way this is not happening like I just I don't like him and I stayed in the relationship for like four and a half months and because it was like built up to just be like the greatest thing ever and I had a really long way down to kind of get back on the ground and just be like, no, we can't do this. 
So I think that it's a very relatable song and that's kind of just what I got from the song. So next is Never Enough, which is one of my favorites on the album. Like I want to put this song on replay like constantly. It's so different than everything that they've done. Like I've never heard a song by them that sounds like this at all. There's like grunting and screaming and like acapella-ish. That's not a word, but it's like kind of acapella. Like they're doing like noises with their mouth. Like what the heck? It's so good. Liam, I think it's Liam. He's screaming because I heard it in an interview once and he was like, yeah, I was screaming in this song and I had to keep redoing it over and over. So I think this is the song he's talking about, but he screams in it and he says, come on. That was really bad, but um it's so good i love it the come on part that liam screams kind of reminds me of like an aerosmith song and like steven tyler is screaming it like it's just so good it's like super rock and roll and i love it okay next is another one of my favorites olivia this song's so good so i was on snapchat just casually going through snapchat and one direction had a snapchat on there i clicked it and it was liam singing a little snippet of Olivia where he goes Olivia I can't do it guys I'm a girl I have a high voice but his voice goes so deep and it's so good and I knew when I heard that snippet that that song was going to be one of my favorites and it is like if you're just not having a good day just go, like listen to that song like it's happy and it's upbeat and then in this song there's also a part um I think I'm probably like the only one that got this when Harry sings, he says, you live in my imagination. The summertime butterflies all belong to your creation. It reminds me of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. There is a song called Pure Imagination. And I thought that I was just crazy. So I went on YouTube and I looked it up and it sounds the same. Like in the song Pure Imagination, it's right at the beginning. Look it up if you haven't. I know that I'm right, and I think I'm the only person in the world that caught this, but it's totally from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The next song is What a Feeling. This is Liam's favorite. I watched it in like some interviews that he's done, and he's like saying that this is his favorite song, and I do think it's a really amazing song. It's so good, and it kind of sounds like, I don't want to be wrong, but it kind of sounds like an 80s, 70s vibe. Okay, Love You Goodbye is so sad, and I heard that this song is about Eleanor. Louis, like, wrote some stuff about Eleanor. I don't know if it's true, but if it is, that makes it even sadder. Um, and then, at the end of this song, Louis has a high note, which is so good. Everyone got so excited about this. Like, Louis definitely brought his A game to this album. He did so good. Next is I Want to Write You a Song, which is also another one of my favorites. It's a very sweet song. I wrote some lyrics down that I liked. I have a notebook of all of my stuff, but um, it says, I want to lend you my coat, one that's as soft as your cheek. I like that lyric. I want to build you a boat, one that's as strong as you are free. And I just really like those lyrics a lot, and I think that... Um, this whole song is like really good and like meaningful lyrics so give it a listen if you haven't because it's really good. Next is History which is definitely one of my favorites. When it was released I listened to that like non-stop like I listened to that song out of all the songs that were released early that was the one that I think I listened to the most. It's so much of a different sound than what they usually do. So I really like this one. I enjoyed it so much. I read somewhere, I don't remember where, I think it was on Twitter, but this song, someone said like Louie wrote this song about like getting over Zane leaving. I don't know if that's true. It was probably a rumor, but if it is, that is also pretty sad. Um, this song, Temporary Fix, is probably the filthiest One Direction song ever like it is dirty I want someone to like read through the lyrics like James Corden did um it's just so funny like it's so dirty I'm gonna read you guys two of the lyrics because it's just 
filth, like pure filth. Um, feel you on my neck while I'm calling a taxi. What is that? And then we can moan in the darkness? No! That is so bad! That is so... What the heck? There are going to be little girls that are young singing that. And I'm just going to be dying laughing because they aren't going to understand. And it's really funny. Next is Walking in the Wind, which I also really love. I love the music in this, like the sound of the beat and the music. I really, really, really love this. Um, I really like Louie's verse in this song because um, it's kind of like when you realize that you miss somebody, like at like the most random time. Like um, he was at a friend's party and then realized someone was missing and that someone was whoever he was talking about. And it's kind of really, it's a relatable lyric. Like, I just really like it. Another lyric that I really like from this song was, I'll be by your side anytime you're needing me. And I just think that that's a really nice, sweet lyric. I really liked it a lot. Next, this one is the one that has been in my head since I first heard this. I've not been able to get this song out of my head. I think that right now at this moment, it's my favorite. Tomorrow it'll change, but I really like the song. It is Wolves. I love the beat. I love the music. I love the lyrics. I love everything about this song. There's nothing bad I can say about it. It is so good. I don't know how to explain. Like this is one of the songs that I'm definitely going to try to show people that are not fans. It just sounds different than anything that they do and it's kind of like an old like I think it's like it reminds me of something like 70s ish I don't know if it's like in the 70s I could be wrong but it's definitely not in this decade at all like it just definitely has like an older sound to it and I really really like that then the last song is AM which is another really good song and this is the song that they got the title of the album from Made in the AM. Ma's home. Yay. AM is super, super relatable. I really love it and it's definitely true. And this is also the first time that they have cussed in a song, which everyone was freaking out about that. So if you want to hear them cuss, go listen to AM. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and me talking about this album it's definitely my favorite album ever that they've ever done it's so good and i love every single song on it which is very rare there's always a song on every album pretty much that i just skip that i just it's not that i don't like it but it's just something that i think there could be a better song so i skip it but no this album has songs that I love and I don't want to skip any of the songs. So if you have not already, go buy Made in the AM on iTunes and also subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Bye guys.